What is going on, everybody? Man, I'm sorry. All right, before I get anything, before I get to any chapters or anything, I am sorry, bro. I have not read a chapter of the awesome sauce and the greatness of Emma's marvelous story. Emma Ray and Norman's marvelous story of the promised Neverland since June, man. Since June. Five months. Five months. So I greatly, greatly do apologize, man. Yeah, I guess, you know, it just, it just wasn't meant to be, but here we are. Here we are, and I'm definitely planning on catching back up. Uh, I just finished rereading uh, chapters 74 to 78 in preparation for this so that I would remember exactly where I was last time, because it was five months ago, you know, and I'm, and I'm not going to remember everything. I'm not going to remember all the characters' names, but I do remember the main plot and the main stuff that was going down at that point in time. I remember my boy Lewis, uh, Jet Set Radio Girl, and what was going on down there, man. So I'm really excited to finally pop back into the Promise Neverland Awesome Sauce, and once again to everybody who was waiting for this i greatly apologize for making you guys wait for so long man but without further ado let's start the return of the neverland awesome sauce to the channel with chapter why is this jacket back here it's been cold man it's been cold with chapter 79 right now let's do this bro oh make everyone the decisive arrow Dude, I was marking out while, while rereading these past couple chapters, man. 74 was such a good chapter. The Norman, bro. And um, and great color pages all over the place. And God, man, uh, just seeing Just Sit Radio Girl go in, man. 10 seconds. Nah, not even that. You don't deserve that. Pop, pop some of that. I was like, all right, go right there. So let's do this chapter 79. I'll make everyone the decisive arrow. Lucas, Oliver, all of our comrades have worked on this for eight long years. Five special shots and three unique rifles for them. One for Bayon, two for Lewis, and the other two I can't miss. I have to blow off their masks. Get this right and Noose and no Numa will be done for. Here we go. Then here we see a double page spread. Oh, let me close this right here. Double page spread. Uh, let me make sure that my thing is full screen. Okay. So here we see the traps are laid all over the place for them. At last the day has come to stick their lives in the secret plan. All right, they look over from the side and they see them. The reaction speed of these two is mind-boggling. If you just shoot them, they evade everything. First of all, we have to catch them up. Once they're bound in the trap, blast them. Shooting at us is pointless. So what do they intend to do with this? Are they planning something? So be it then. I shall bite the bait. And we see what appears to be a kunai come down right here from the side. Nothing happened. All of this is just a bluff. Ching! Goes up? No, that would be much too foolish. No, ma, they have shown something. Shh. Let's play their game for now. See, this is the type of stuff I love about Promise Neverland, man. Is that you always have to think about something two or three times before you can really make sure that it's safe. I, I mean, even as a reader, you have to make sure that it's safe before you turn to the next page, man. You could be caught off guard by some spooky panel right out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the things I really like about this um, story. Let me fix the camera real quick. So here we see, dang, we see a massive, I mean, massive portion of a tree, bro. It, it's, I mean, it's a massive log, bro, and it's coming in there strong. Slices it in half. Literally slices it in half. Goes right in. Even more arrows on top of that, and there's stuff on the floor. There's some traps on the floor as well. Arrows continuing to fly. Oh, and there's tips and there's poison on the tips of the arrows. Now I understand. Set off, but the first trap and all the others will follow. How insulting. Not yet. Hold on. Not just yet. They're still coming one after another? Are they hoping for an opening if, if something hits us? No. We know very well the terror of Nus and Noma. This kind of thing won't hold them up. Our goal is later when in the middle of a barrage of traps you spot your prey. There they are. Not yet. Not yet. Just a bit more. They'll come out for, for, from here for sure. The traps are laid that way. Yo, and they pop in. So that what they were waiting for, they were having the patience for them to pop out from exact, right in front of where they are. So the traps were laid so that the actual trap of itself was so that they would get close enough to where in the middle of them running, they would not realize exactly where they are. And they would pop up right in front of them where they would be ready with their weapons, man. See, it's that kind of stuff I love about Promise Neverland, man. A flashbang? 
We see the flash bang goes off. Ching! Dude, the nine bang in Black Ops 4 is so annoying, man. I mean, that thing lasts like 15 seconds, bro. And then your gun's not up. You can't shoot because you're like this. <laughs> it angers me, bro. It angers me. We got them at this stance. They can't evade. It's now or never. Did we do it? Yo, yeah, they did. They shot the masks off. Yes, they hit home and worked to blow apart the mask. Yo, nah, but look at him, bro. He looks sick and dead, bro. Look at his face. He's like, he's ready, bro. Sonia, pull back for now. Oh, no. No pulling back here. Bravo, just brilliant. We knew you children were up to something. It made a little sense, right? You wouldn't do all that for nothing. But I'd never imagine you could concoct a flash grenade, much less a weapon that can blow masks. We took you too lightly, your dangerous pieces of game. Oh, but what a shame. If you manage to tear off a mask, you must finish it right away. You breathe in relief for a moment, and that's when you lost the air. Yo, man. Sonia. Oh my, oh my, what to do? Now I really want to hunt you too. Shame on me, I screwed it up. They recovered from the flash so fast. I wasn't planning to be caught at all, but this is okay. Dude just got sniped right in the flipping noggin. Right in the noggin. So are you telling me that was also part of the plan? The snipers were ready. Yo, she was like, this is okay. They're waiting for him. And we just see a bullet slowly but surely come in there and just right through his noggin, dog. No, ma! Hey, Emma, tell us, did you ever manage to finish him off? Yes, but just one. And I didn't know what I was doing. And it wasn't even intelligent, but one of the beasts. I was just, it was just that I was thinking. Shooting them in the back of the eye sounds easy to understand. But the target area is so small and they keep moving, right? Miss it by even a little and they won't die. How can we have a reasonable chance of hitting home in practice? Well, I'm new to this, so I don't know it very well either. But I think there's one moment when it becomes easy to hit them, which is when they are wrapped up in enjoying their prey. On some Hunter Hunter stuff, man. What we learned in the Hunter exams. You know, a hunter is most vulnerable whenever they are just about to eat their prey, when they're this close. When they are salivating at the fact that the prey is right in front of them. That is when they let their guard down. And that is when you need to strike, bro. Emma's out here reading some Hunter exams greatness. <laughs> hey, so that has it. Now that I thought about it, that, that man, he was provoking this state in them. But, well, this strategy is way too dangerous, so I guess I can't help you very much. Catching me made, made the enemy forget, completely forget their surroundings, and then Paula could finish it in one shot like we planned from the beginning. One more to go. And look at this. He's looking down at the mask of his fallen comrade. Not even the mask, the whole body. And look at that man. A screech for his fallen comrade. <laughs> My boy Lewis! I know you're here, come out. Right in front of her? Oh, bro. We meet again. Six, three, one, nine, four. Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's go, man. Chapter 80, chapter 80, chapter 80. Are you kidding me? Oh, we got a color. Oh, you already know. Every single color page from the pop from the Promised Neverland gets saved around these parts, coach. It gets saved around these parts. So we continue off, sniper hits the head. One more to go. This zone is trapped, we have the terrain advantage. He's lost his mask, our sniper's ready? Calm down, just calm down, calm down and finish this. What? And then we see, man. I mean, he's holding his comrade, yo. You know, when you see stuff like that, you realize, you know, what's, what's truly the difference between these, these people and us? Noma, Noma, what the hell? Are you kidding me? After you murdered so many kids with that dumb smile on your face? Man, dude, he's like, yo, you dare, you dare feel sorry for your fallen comrade? Do you know how many you killed that were my comrades? With a smile on your face? Man, dude. 
still don't know why I can't find a good position. And now you're telling me that you know what it feels like to feel sympathy? Did you give me shake it to the core? I'll wrap this up. Excuse me? He's eating her? Exactly, he's eating her. Is that a way of showing affection to somebody? What is This man is eating the very person he was just feeling sorry for! I guess that must be the difference. This must be the, that must be the difference between the demons and us. Right then and there, I mean, he's eating her! He's a freshly cooked meal! You can get a shot from this spot. Don't waver, don't let yourself be shocked. This is actually your best chance yet to shoot him down. He looked up, it's now or never. Dodges the bullet. Looks to the side. This is bad, he knows where we are. Come on, man. This man picks up one of the arrows and launches it. Pull a pilot! And look at him. Oh god, you better run. Give back my beloved Numa. And then we switch over. You see, I'm tired of whenever Neverland does this, man. So we look over at Jet Set Radio Girl again. Our whistle is the first figures. All's going as we predicted got her to join Zack's team. It will be okay. Everyone is fine. We're doing well so far. We have a little more than eight minutes left until the 15 minute deadline. Our only hope is to down these street bands within this limit. Look to the back. What's the problem, Nigel? Shh. Something's coming. And then we... A meeting of clout between our girl Emma and Archduke Lewis. So we meet again. I wonder if you received my message. My name is Lewis. Oh no, that's, that's, that's Emma. My name is Lewis. Join, <laughs> join the hunt and come at me. Correct. I am called Lewis, and you're called M.I. Wager. Six, three, one, nine, four. A premium offering from the highly rated Gracefield brand. The name was Emma, yes. Gracefield Premium. The renown of that name reaches farther than you can imagine. In recent years, Gracefield the Third Farm has earned a special place. Even among the most distinguished clientele, it's the flower of taste. They say a particular superb breeder is raising beautiful, delicious minds. So that was it then. You're that. Emma, I have a message for you too from Louis. You know, I don't, this is the thing about Louis, bro. This man's a beast to me. Sorry about that. I had to go. I had to go do something. I have a message for you too from Lucas. What do you think of my move? I expected it was that boy. That explosion really startled me. How reminiscent of the approach they used that day. Lucas, you're alive, my boy. You've been hiding in these grounds. All along, you were secretly polishing these Grand Valley rabbits, leading them. That was it, eh? I'm quite in shock. I never thought he'd survive. How wonderful, organizing this delightful rebellion from underground. On top of that, who better to join the party than you, Emma? I am glad. I'm extremely happy right now. You've moved me to my core. If so, Archduke, then let's play a little game, shall we? Just like back then. <laughs> Emma in the face of fear. She has no fear. We have no fear around these parts, coach. You got a scary looking monster like Lewis in front of you, and Emma's like, that thing? I beat it in my sleep. Let's go, man. Emma greatness. Didn't think you'd be so fast. Cut it out. You gotta buy some time. Figure out something till they're safe. Oh, dear. This just won't do. You're all quite excellent, and yet still so far from satisfactory. I want to dance through the thrill of carnage, but at this rate. Therefore, dear Lucas, let us start a little game. 
a game. And he starts laughing. I, I, let me do the crocodile laugh. Ah! 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 <laughs> I see from back... I, I, that kind of laugh would fit. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That kind of laugh would fit for, for this man, Lewis. I see from back then very well. Great, so far so good. This should distract this demon. Our comrades are, are coming until then. My boy Bion, bro, with the beast design! Yo, why is Bion's design so beast? Look at this, they're shook! Bion? You're right in front of Jet Set Radio Girl. Bro. Yo, Bion's design is so sick, man. There's just something about the design. You got the beads right here, you got the braids going down with the ponytail with the two horns. I don't know, it, just, it looks beast. What is Bion doing here? What happened to Zack and Pepe? I can smell that Lord Bion is heading in this direction. We're the one team with our special shots. Nicely done. This brings back memories. Yeah, let's go! Are you about to see Bion go in, bro? Come on, to the bitter end. Bion? Why is Bion here? What happened to Zack and Pepe? And as we see this man Bion with no remorse! No remorse! He takes his Darth Maul sided saber. And he pones both of them in an instant. And that can't be. Zack of all people wouldn't go down like that. The worst possibility goes round and round in their minds. Oh, in their minds. I thought he real deal did it, Skip. I thought this man real deal went about it that way, coach. Bayon! Zack is the most experienced veteran among, among all of us. His skills and emergency aid are top notch. Which isn't all that surprising with the way he's always covered in wounds. He got himself into so much trouble all the time that he ended up in charge of the medical support. <laughs> hey, sometimes that happens. It's broke. Well, it's broken. This man just casually broke his casually broke his arm, dog. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. Fractures. I've only broken. Uh, I think that's the only bone I've ever broken in my body. But whenever I was a little kid, I broke my my left arm, and still to this day, it is just one of those things to where I always think back on. And, and uh, I, don't, I don't attempt to relive the pain, but it's kind of hard to, uh, especially whenever it rains, and uh, like right before it rains, like you get like a, that, 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 that your bones hurt, at least for me, the, the bones that I broke. So um, I remember that pain, that fracture that I had in my left arm. And I just think about it, I'm like, bro, how do people just casually break their, their, their stuff and then just continue on? Cause I remember, well, then again, I was a little kid, and I don't know how I'd feel about it now if I were to break something, but I was in a lot of pain, man. I was in a lot of pain and I broke my arm, coach. From what I remember, of course. I was, I, like I said, I was, I was really, really young. And of course, the reason he's always hurt is that he's always pushing it. He never says no to a dangerous mission. He's extremely athletic, too, and he never flinches when he's staring death in the face. Zack is great with weapons, great at escaping. I don't even know how many times he saved me. My bad, thank you. No worries, what matters is that y'all are safe and sound. Zack ranks right with Oliver as the best of us. It's hard to say who'd win. Buy on to me. Yo, Zach said, leave the main man. Leave the dude with the best design in out of all the demons to me, bro. Leave buy on to me, coach. That's my target. I marked him. I marked him. He always comes for the hunt with two servants. We only have five special shots to pierce their mass, so we can't spare any for the small fry. Buy on is the second most dangerous one after Lewis. I should be the one to handle him. I'm taking a lot of risks so far to observe him, to figure out what kind of monster he is and how to fight back. I'm bringing him down. You want this mission, not despite the danger, but because of it? And all for our sake. No, it's because I'm not letting anyone die. Myself very much included. I'm the one who's always putting his neck on the line, and I always pull through, right? If not me, then who? Got it, we're counting on you, man. Yeah. Pepe, your support. Nigel and Gillian, you too. You go help Zack after you're done with Lucy. It's Zack, he'll be all right. Those two can take care of them. Crap, what the hell are you doing here, you bastard? Did we take too long to finish Lucy? Should we have run faster? Stop it, I'm doing it wrong. Now it's not the time to reflect on what could have been. We've got to stop him. We must stop Bion here and now. Can I think of it, if we don't, if he joins forces with Lewis, uh, with Lewis, Noose, and Roma, our entire plan is over, we'll be done for. And we look at this, but we see the memories fragmented through the glasses, and they're just shattered. 
I don't know why he's here or what he's planning, but the forest ends this way, and then it's the village already with Lewis. Staying and hiding is not an option. If he makes it through here, it's all over. Calm down, calm down and think. Bion's servants aren't around. Maybe Zack and Pepe got there, or maybe they're still battling. Either way, what matters right now is that Bion is alone and must be stopped. However, we don't have any of the special shots. Now there's no way to know if it's if Zack's in a good shape or not. Oh, I'm sorry. If if, if Zack's in, is, is in... If Zack's... If Zack is in good shape, or if it still has a shot, or if it'll even work on Bion. Oh, he's someone's weapon. No, he's someone's weapon. So it, it makes sense that Zack's is in good shape, or if it still has a shot, or if it will even work on Bion. I can't even be sure I'd make it in time. I just have to make do without it. Running after a special rifle isn't the best bet at this point. We have to find a way to fight with what we have. And put a stop to Bion. But how? What's the most effective way of using the tools we have in this situation? Gillian, let's split. I'll keep Bion in this place. You go check on Zack's group. We know we have to know what happened to Zack and Pepe into the rifle. If they're still kicking around, to join them. And if they're still kicking around, join them. If the rifle's still good, it should be useful for Oliver's group. I see. The special rifles, all the shots are in the forest right now. The first priority is, is to defeat those three bands. Worst case, the two shots meant for Lewis can double his spares. Sandy and Zack, you take one each. But whatever happens, make sure you blow off their masks in one shot. Yeah, you come back alive and bring your rifle in shot. They need the gun and the information. This is not going according to plan, and by all and by all means, we have to let Oliver's group know. He and Emma have no idea of what's happening. They are busy distracting Lewis for our sake. But, but Nigel, just what can you do all alone to stop by on? It's okay, I have a plan, trust me. You see, just said radio girl with a shocked expression. Not really a shocked expression, more of like a, a saddened expression. I'm playing my ass. I can't see my way out of this one. <laughs> and he's, 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 he's in that type of situation, bro. I mean, he's, he's got to play the hero, but at the same time, he's like, like I don't, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one, coach. I'm going to be honest with you. We can't kill them to start with, not through normal means. That's why we went through all that trouble to create custom shots in the first place. However, everything's, everything's riding on it. Our plan is the only way to keep all of our comrades alive, which means maybe I can find a way to pull this off if I put my life on the line. I'm going to do whatever it takes to stop him. Normally, Zack is the one who risks his neck, and I've, and I've survived so far thanks to him shouldering the risks, but this time, it's my turn to push it. Yo, look at his face, look at his smile, dog. That's what you mean, huh? To the bitter end, as they say. Nigel is being rational for the sake of the plan, for the sake of the lives of our friends. I have to hurry up and find Zack. That's right, I have to. Got it. Great, then on the count of three, I'll, I'll make my move. You, you use the opening to run. One, two, three. There we go. It's just a radio girl whistling? And we see Bion looks over. No! Dude! She whistled! Bion's attention is now toward her. And she's like, sorry, Nigel, I can't do it. I just can't leave a comrade behind, yo. Yo, just that radio girl with every chapter always becomes better and better. And more goat. More goat, but I'm the kind of uh, sacrifice, uh, not the kind of sacrifice a comrade. I read my full of watching friends die. She's blown the whistle, but not in any pattern we had agreed on. With this Oliver's group, we'll realize something happened that we didn't expect. We'll fight together. Stopping Byron alone without weapons is easier said than done, right? Anyway, if you still think our priority right now should be to bring all, all that to Oliver's group, then too bad, Nigel, because I'll be leaving it to you to go find Zack. Get it Oh no, we're going we're going to next chapter. Come on, come on. Lord of the Hunting Garden. I'll make sure Bion stays here. You go you, you I'm on, on chapter eighty two. You go check on Zack's group. Sorry, Nigel, but I can't swallow this heroic sacrifice. We'll fight together and we'll push and we'll both push pull through. If you think that's not possible, then the heroic sacrifice will be me. For our future together we will. Yo Oh, this is a pretty nice uh uh You know what man? The title out of the title pages I still see the Neverland as some of the best in manga, man. It really does. They're, they're just so cool. The Lord of the Hunting Garden. That's such a beast name for a chapter. Lord of the Hunting Garden. So here we see just that radio girl going right up in like swimwear. She starts shooting over at Bion. Gillian, what are you trying to do? No, I get it. Of course I get it. Offering yourself in my place, I just, I can't let him die. I know the feeling. We see Bion. You freaking idiot! We go right there, just hit Radio Girl, barely dodges. Run, just get over this and go, Gillian! Enough with the pipe dreams, get real. This is the real thing, we're betting our lives here. 
You gotta get over rational emotions. Our only hope is the plan, so stick to it. I know you can do it. That's what you've been doing all this time, right? Then, oh, cut it out. Who's the idiot here? I know you're ranting like that because you yourself can't leave me to die, too. <laughs> For real, that's big facts. That's big facts. We're in this together. Deal with it. Hmm, so it was you. You two killed them, correct? You've killed Lucy. How? You did succeed, didn't you? That whistle you blew earlier, this overpowering gunpowder smell. You used those toys to massacre Lucy and all his servants. You yourselves pulled the trigger. Bravo! And he's excited, yo. I never have expected that someone like you, someone from Grand Valley, could. Well done. I was truly astonished by what manner. Surely you haven't reached this point through an overnight spur of resolve. My two retainers, too, are done for. Your little comrades, their battle prowess, too, was quite spectacular. Sack Pepe. We see an actual flashback. We see the subordinates. So those subordinates are getting pwned. Yes. Truly magnificent they were. <laughs> Truly magnificent they were, and you see blood on this man's spear. Tell me now, how did you learn about us? If Grand Valley knows how to kill us, what could be the source of information, of such information? You have a leader, someone who's been guiding you for several years, I'm sure. That's how Castle of Your Standing has been able to organize a revolt such as this. And that person is the actual brain beyond this insurgency. So that's why he's here. He's after Lucas. This monster's searching for our leader. Cut off the mastermind and suppress the revolt. He's acting as the landlord of this hunting garden. Lend me a little help, will ye? I want to pay your mentor a visit. Gillian, run! Whatever happens, we must protect Lucas and all the children hiding with him. We have to lure him, pretend to run for our lives and lead him. Keep him away from Lucas and from Lewis's group. Okay, we've almost reached traps and... What happened? Just like Radio Girl just got hit right in the back! She hits the floor. No, she never even got a chance to hit the floor, dog. This man, Bion, grabbed her by the top, bro, right here. He's like, oh, you're putting cuello. Galeon! I do not look for to sacrifice good game for no reason. So I'm gonna reformulate my request. This girl, your leader, choose one. Damn, bro, yo, what kind of question is that? Lucas or Gillian? Well, this is a serious wound. She's losing a lot of blood. Be quick with it. Where's your leader? Do you think I'll just go and tell you? What kind of choice is this bastard? Kill the hostage, Nigel. Forget about me. Lucas has to survive no matter what. I'm so sorry, Gillian. I'll make it quick, okay? I'll make it quick. There we go. Well, there we got Zack and Pepe coming over the like somewhere. Go, Nigel. Sorry, y'all. You saved our lives, Pepe. I'm glad you're alive. I've got a plan, so follow me. That monster's going down. Bro, man, just like Radio Girl, dog. She, see, man, I love characters that are resolved to die, bro, but then their friends go up in like somewhere and say, nah, man, see, this is friendship. This is friendship, man. Whenever you see it, they have to make a decision, bro. They have to make a decision. I mean, Nigel, he was about to have to do something, bro. He was about to have to do something. But Zack and Pepe came up and like swimwear, bro, as they should. As they should. Come on, come on, next page, next page. Next chapter, next chapter. Chapter 83, after 13 years of response. We're on the brink of death. So what's the plan, Pepe? Let's worry about Gillian first. She needs treatment ASAP. Somewhere safe. Bion has lost track of us after the surprise attack and the smoke bomb. We gotta take the chance to... And yo, look at Bion, bro. He's just... Chillin'. Bion is observing them. This man says, surprise attack? Like, you're gonna surprise me? Bion? <laughs> I knew it all the time, boy. When I felt you sneaking behind my back, I knew you'd throw a smoke curtain again. And it was obvious that you'd never leave your wounded friend behind. Yo, this is an excellent panel right here. You were bound to evacuate her to safety the instant you thought I'd lost you. Bring her to somewhere safe, safe from us. In other words, your base of operations and your true leader will be there. So, Bion is doing all of this on purpose. Once again, see, this is the type of stuff I love from the Promised Neverland, man. 
they they're not doing the regular cut and paste monster of the week villain stuff bro that you see okay you know choose this guy or this guy and after the stuff goes like they lose their their calm like what the no this dude he was all according to plan he made he, he had it all go according to plan he knew what was going down but what he's doing right now is he's just following them because he realizes that now they're heading back towards the base of operations possibly because we also remember how they were saying that now now they're gonna really take on this bastard they're gonna take this dude on right now. So regardless of whether they're heading, they're really heading towards the base of operations, or whether they're about to circle around this dude and they're gonna take him on for real. Regardless, man, it's like they're both trying to arse smart each other. See, I, I love that. I love that type of stuff, man. Let them have a bite and swim around for a while. The smarter way is much faster. They are quite a gallant in the face of death. Well, then, children, do me a favor and guide me straight to your leader. And we see an excellent, 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 excellent color page or um, cover page right here, showing where everybody is, and um, and 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 what and what the plan, what, what the current stage of the plan is. You know, we see Emma with Lewis right over here. We see that Noma's already been defeated. So it's like a, as if somebody took this whole thing with them and is crossing out every time they do something. So Noma's been defeated. Lucy with all the subordinates. Um, one, two, the, both of the subordinates, subordinates buy on. I mean, this is this is really really cool. This is so nice, mapping their way to a better future. Here we go, and we're back to the goats, Lewis and Emma. A game, Lucas. We shall now play a little game. As of now, I'm the only one here. That explosion has put the others at a loss. It should take twenty or so minutes before Bayon and his lot find their way here. That being so, yes, I say we're unlikely to be bothered during the next 15 minutes. I shall tell you the method to kill us. Can you concoct with a viable a strategy to become the killer? Eh. It's, imagined, it's easy to imagine how dearly you must have longed for this information. I shall do you the favor, boy. I'm not a fair-minded fellow. Human beings are by nature inferior to us in strength. Moreover, by the rules of this playground, you have been denied even the slightest chance of fighting back. This place makes death in the hunt your one unchanging fate. It's our eye. Right in the middle of the face, below the mask, behind the eye lies the colonel. Crush that, and we die. I shall grace you with ten minutes. Prepare yourself however you like. You shan't lack for weapons either. Use them however you like. Feel free to call. Whoa! Hold on, bro. One second, dude. Every single time Neverland does this, man, I, I feel like it's the most, it's the spookiest stuff ever. Like, if you know that name, you would just get shot on sight. Shot on sight. Feel free to call. If you want, gather however you like. And finally, I should remove my mask for you. Why risk himself that far? Didn't I tell you, boy, I long to dance in the thrill of carnage! It is a mockery of a hunt unless both sides that stay put their lives in stake. What I want is to join you in a true hunt. Let our secret game commence. Kill me if you can. You see him laughing, bro. That time, eh? The same game, a fair hunt lasting 15 minutes. With the first 10 minutes for me to prepare. So you now challenge me to the same bit of sport I proposed to him on that distant night? Fair enough. Great, just like us. However, there shall be no need for that. Your motive here is to buy a time. Oh, I'm, I'm right, am I not? Yay. I believe such were Luke's intentions back then, too. Nah. If I take you on your bait, you surely won't be coming at me in any satisfactory level. It would be a waste of ammunition, after all. You have no confidence that you'd be able to murder me by yourself. Lucas thinks the same. That boy well knows what happens when one tries to stand up to me alone. Yes, I say he knows in his bones. An all-out attack. If I was in that boy's position, I'd only strike at such an enemy with with my entire forces at once. <laughs> Which means this game is but a means to buy enough time for that. You read us completely. You're indeed a strong girl, Emma, but still, that's quite awful. Oh, that Lucas. The boy shows up only to give such a terrible task to a first-day newcomer. Very well. I'll give you the time you need. Yo, this man Lucas takes a seat, bro. Like, entertain me. Entertain me, Emma! What is it, 15 minutes? No, 10? I will wait. It's bound to be more interesting this way. 
No need for that indeed. After all, what is this uprising if not his response to my challenge on that distant night 13 years ago? Can you concoct with that viable strategy to become the killer? Right, Lucas, my boy. It's not what we planned, or at least Lucas will stay here. However, if I'm supposed to wait for you to strike, then strike you shall. Right now, I'm extremely eager for action. If the ten minutes go by and still none of your comrades have reached this village, then I shall dance with you until I get my fill of it, am I? <laughs> Dude, just look at his face, bro. God, man. <sighs> Dude, the fact that he just keeps switching, that, 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 that the mangakas, they just keep switching from that to the Bion stuff, and uh, it's insane. So that was it in the ground shelter. The roots of this tree, the digits not good to go under inside them, I see. The, their true base of operations, the leader. All of it is hidden beneath this forest. Nah, bro, that's gonna be a trap. That's gonna be a trap, bro. The passageway is small, barely enough to fit a single human. Here we go. And then we see the ladder. What is the meaning of this? Never mind the tree. These tunnels aren't the kind of construction that the cattle can afford to build. That damned boy. The smell, they're close. The three from up there, plus not just the leader, but many more. Perhaps all the cattle children who had seemingly disappeared before. Here they are. Yo, they're waiting for my boy, bro. On the side, an ambush. There they go, to the right too. Yo, Lucas. Now, Oliver, Nigel. Don't you worry, my friends will come. Die, Bion. Come on, come on, next page, next page, next page, next page, bro. Break. And we see another color spread that looks amazing. I gotta save it. I gotta save it. I gotta save it. I gotta do it quickly. I gotta do it quickly, bro. Yo, they popped up on the block. Lucas said, do it, man. Execute order 66. Give me a second. I gotta charge my laptop. No chance, Zack. Poison darts are not as sharp as ever. Here we see, look at those long fingers, man. And I can't shake this, this, this impression that he knows everything. The cars we want to play, the traps, and Lucas. Calm down, Pepe. This, my freaking thinking's falling, bro. Ch change of plans, I'll handle him for now all alone. You take this weapon and go join Oliver as fast as you can. Once you find him, report about the situation and about his goal. Excuse me. That would be enough. Oliver will know what to do. And this monster will go down then and there. Go! Yo, it's like that was always a part of the plan, bro. I'm fine, go on. Here we go. And there, look at, look at just a radio girl. The underground path behind the windmill is connected to the forest. Through five different entrances. Ah, got it, got it. The enemy must never find out about it. We must protect it most of all. But on the other hand, be prepared. Maybe we have to invite one of them for a little visit. And then, that's when they pwn them. Yo, for Lucas versus Poyon! An ambush. Now, Oliver Nigel, I can see it. And we see the bullet. It shatters Bion's mask. I won't miss. Die, Bion. They get Bion dead center, bro. But I don't think, I don't think, I don't think that took out Bion. I don't think, I don't think that's it. I long for the hunt. Humans won't hunt us. And we won't hunt them. Is, it, is this a flashback for Bion? Oh, hold on, bro. If he's getting a flashback, he might be dead for real. Every every character gets a flashback. Nice, man. So let's see. Well, that's, that's not always the case. That's not always the case. But still, you, you, you know. You know what it is. Humans won't hunt us and we won't hunt them. And here we see a whole bunch of others. Now, if we can hunt no people, by what manner shall we eat them? You mean to forbid us from eating human flesh? Circa 1,000 years ago? Whoa! Hold on, bro. Humans won't hunt us and we won't hunt them. If we can hunt no people, by what manner shall we eat them? You, you mean to forbid us from eating human flesh? We shall build farms. Yo, it's this one right here, bro, with that with, with the ram head. With the ram horns. We'll cultivate humans and then have our harvest. I am now bestowing this duty upon all of you as well. No objection will be tolerated. The agreement shall be sealed. For such is the will of demon glyphs. The will of D? The will of DG. The will of DG. Demon glyphs. Oh, how I long for the hunt. So the supervisor for the 12 farms is now you. What irony. A 
800 years ago, bro. Yo, this is so cool. I've always wanted to see this type of stuff. To be precise, I'm an investor of the 24 farms, manager of the 12 farms, and responsible for the six farms. You have all choices. Take care not to let it get to you. Get to me it does, but what does it matter? My hands are tied. The back between worlds must be preserved. 500 years ago, tasteless. Day after day, this fast-grown, dreary dead meat. Day after day, day after day, day after day. Huh? Living? Produce? Well, if it is for Lord Byron's special shipment. I began holding mock hunts in my personal gardens. This taste, this taste. I already had an inkling it would be like that. But then I did, in fact, feel it. I felt the pulse of life extinguishing itself in my palate. This dude is sick in the head, bro. I first limited myself to one head of a cattle every three months. Then I gradually increased the frequency to once a month. And twice and thrice. How dangerous. After waiting my appetite, I found myself unable to hold back. There in my gardens, I couldn't stop my own little secret game. It's a pleasure to meet you again, Lord Bion. And here we have this dude right here, bro. This dude is has to be one of the most important characters in the story, bro. I've been eager to have an audience. It had somehow become known. I care not if it's a true hunt. We're not allowed to satisfy that desire, if not like before, not like the old days. However, this is a secret and is our salvation. My own secret playground. This place, my hunting ground. Pion gets up. I knew he wasn't dead, bro. He starts laughing, bro. He's like, <laughs> he's still alive. Nigel, down! And we see a spear go right in. This guy, immortal? It seems I myself have become too complacent and lacking in resolve. This is enemy territory. These narrow tunnels are to their advantage. Is it not the best possible trap to put down someone like me? I thought I'd let the fish swim, but the one truly being lured in was myself. Dear me, in the good old days, I've never taken them so lightly. This is such fun. I'm grateful for the opportunity to play. I have at last truly hunted again. And we see Bion, bro. But in the end, I shall have your life. It was written, the spear is a faint. They got him. They got him. Lucas, are you hurt? No, I'm fine, but we don't know. No way. Nah, he took Oliver with him. He took Oliver with him, bro. Yo, what a chapter. Seeing the past and the backstory of Bion, bro. And everything that's led up until this point, his hunting ground. Why it is the truth, wait, why, why, why he is the way that he is, man. God, bro, yo, but that one piece of dialogue between him and Lewis was so good. God, I'm gonna have to go reread that again, man. I'm gonna have to go reread that again after I finish this uh, this reaction, dude. But uh, I, gotta, I gotta keep reading, bro. I gotta keep reading. This is this is too good right now. This See, this is the problem with Promise Neverland, man. Like, once you start, it's so hard, it's so hard to stop. It is so difficult to stop reading the Promise Neverland once you, stop, once you start, man. And it's like, bro, I, as long as, until I see that thing say that I have no battery left, I'm gonna have to keep reading, bro. I'm gonna have to, I can already tell. No, no, why, why this? Someone help, anyone help? Come this way. What he did for me, for all of us, there's no way to explain how much we owe him. Oliver, man. He's going for Lucas. Oh no, Bion, damn you. And he went and took, the, it took himself as a sacrifice, bro. Lucas, I'm glad you're fit. Oliver! And we see in the freaking title page a young Oliver and flipping Lucas, bro. Ay, Dios mío. We got by on. I'm coming now. Pull this thing back. We got him coming now, Zach. The demon's hand, he got stabbed. He needs surgery. Nigel, bring spare gauze and antiseptic light, too. Yes, sir. And you could please come help. Yes. Hang in there, Oliver. Oliver! Oliver? Oh, it's just said radio girl's down herself. Gillian, you woke up? No, I don't see anything, and you don't even think of moving. Pepe has just barely finished your first aid. Oliver took a hit from Bion, he's wounded in the guts. Pepe's heading after Zack, but there's good news, Bion is down. Two more to go, I'm going after Emma. Wait right here, we'll finish this and come back to tell the story. I'm sorry, Nigel, Lucas, everyone, I... Oh... That scared the flag nards out of me, man. That's I thought that she was about to say, yo, I've I I have I don't have much time left. No, no, but it's that she can barely breathe and she, and she's apologizing for her mistakes that, that that she committed here. 
and for the and for and for getting cut up. That's right. Don't try to overthink it. You did very well, Lucas, bro. Oliver Gillian will do everything to save you. Nigel, when the time comes, do what we talked about before. I'm counting on you. You better come back safe and sound. Yes, sir. It's not enough. Our battle power isn't nearly enough. The plan was to defeat was to first defeat Bion and three groups so that everyone could join together to hit Lewis. But now Oliver and Gillian are out of combat. Maybe Zack too. And Pepe can't use his right arm. It's hopeless. The tactics we've been using against Lewis and without Zack and Oliver? No chance. There has to be another way, some other hand to be to play. There has to be. What happened with Noose and Noma with Sandy's team? In the worst case scenario, Noose and Noma have survived unharmed after annihilating the team. Then they'll join forces with Lewis and Emma and Nigel will face will have to face the three monsters alone. Listen, Nigel, if things get to that point, that option that option is our last resort. And the flying flag is that. Damn it, is there no other way? Something? Anything? I'll never forgive them. We want to put an end to this hunting park. Come on, think. What should I do? What's the best move? If only I still had my right arm. If only I could, prop if only I could move properly with his leg. Oliver, Gillian, Nigel, all of you. Goodness gracious. They got taken out. Oh my god. Look at their legs. This one right here has a broke a broken arm, both broken legs. And look at the, the the body doesn't even look like it's well put it's like that. half of the body's over here, half body's over here. Ugh. This dude right here on the right got demolished. Flipping flag nards. Crap, what just happened? How's he doing this? No ma! Paula got smoked by that spear! No, my dearest Noma. Sonia. That's it, dear. Make it hurt, yes. I want them to suffer, of course. All who killed me one after another. But there's still one left, Nos. Yes, Noma, I know. What's the matter with him? He's talking out loud alone. Is the Noma still with him? Where are you? Could it be that? No, 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 way. When he ate Noma, he couldn't have absorbed. Oh, God. That makes sense. That's why he ate her. Because after you eat them, you can absorb them and make them one with you, bro. What in the flying flag, Mars dog? <laughs> but he's much stronger because he's angrier from eating her. We were so sure we could take them on. Here, come on, I'm almost killing him. Bastard, damn you to hell. I think I gotta do something right here, right now, if I don't kill him. But how? Even if I'm far away, he can't find us when we shoot. There's no time to run away, even Sandy and the others couldn't. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What else should I do? Yeah, we see a tap on the shoulder, bro. We see that boy. No, it's Ray. <laughs> wee wee wee. It's not. Who are you? Yo, and Ray's here with um. What's that dude's name? No, no. We never found out his name, right? That was the one dude that had no name. It's not. Who are you? It doesn't seem like your average pleasure hunt. Or do things change in these last thirteen years? What situation? Explain and be quick about it. You let's go, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Next page, next page, next chapter, next chapter, next chapter. Chapter 86, Battle Power. The dude with no name and Ray. Bro, I feel, I feel like I haven't seen Ray in ages, man. But being Ray, who are they? These aren't, game, these aren't game children brought for the hunt. And what's more, those coats and gloves. These two can't be. After 13 long years. You know, my guy has been waiting for this moment, bro. Excuse me. You know he's been waiting for this time to strike back, man. You know that he's been dying for this moment. He's been dying for the moment whenever he's able to come back and go into like somewhere, man. Two minutes left, I have to hurry up and reach Emma. Even if I'm the only one, it's it's me, Nigel. Please open the door. Adam. Adam, bro. Nah. He could hold himself with the situation. This is an uprising for humankind. We've put into motion a straight a, a strategy devised throughout the past 13 years by Lucas. This Adam creature is so fascinating, man. This person is how we found out about uh, Norman, about Norman being alive. We put it into into mo into uh, motion a strategy devised throughout the past 13 years by Lucas. My squad has managed to down one of the monsters. Or if we don't kill the other two within two minutes, now if we don't do it right now, then we'll lose Lucas, Emma, all of us. Got it. Change of plans. We're killing the hell of that demon. The relevant info was the number of enemies and allies then. Oh, sorry, but just like that? Do you want to know more about the... Well, it's obvious, isn't it? You chose your words carefully on the spot. 
and all of them were directly relevant. You know, Emma, she told you about us. Emma has joined the- Oh crap, there goes my battery. All right, yeah, this is gonna be the last chapter. Flipping flag nerds, man, I thought that I could last a while, and I did, I did, I managed to last a while. Emma joined the uprising, as, as far as you know, she's still alive. If we don't defeat that thing soon, she'll be in danger, but this boy has said almost nothing in the blink of an eye, he already put it aside. There are still two yoes, because Ray knows Emma better than anyone, man. This man knows Emma better than anyone. Come on, coach. She chose the words carefully. Everything she's done like 13 years in the name of leader Lucas. Go, Lucas, so you're still alive. Hey, wait. You're taking way too long. Step back, kids. What matters now is to bring it down, innit? Wait, sniper shots don't work on that monster. It's, scar it's scarily fast, even in normal situations. And right now it's angry, I know. And we'll, we'll just look at it. And then we see it, bro. Look at this, man. I think it's about time to off this one, Numa. Yes, new Stuart. Yeah, so it pretty much does confirm that there's two of them right now inside the body. So that thing is noose? It was like a wild beast. His state has been altered. Sure enough, I just go and shoot it, bound to read it, don't bound to read it in advance. I have to stay perfectly hidden, not just from sight. I gotta hide my presence, hide everything. The last one that's out there somewhere. He carries a body up like this, like he's like it's a basketball. Like he's about to slam dunk, bro. He's just carrying up like this, man, the head. I can feel them, dear. Their nervous presence, their murderous hate. It's not just one, there's... It doesn't matter how many there are. I will slaughter every last one of you while Noma's still within me. Come out, then. Attack however you want. I'll be ready for it. We will read it. Come on, shoot, and that one will know where you are. Here we go. They look at look at that messed up head, bro. And it's about to hit the floor and the shot. The shot goes off. I was shot? They're gonna be from where? Anywhere? No. Ma. Yo, the man with no name standing in front of the creature. In front of Noose. You did it, but how? You wanna be a sniper kid? This is how you do it. You wanna be a sniper? My boy was a head quick scoper in Marvel for two, dog. You know my man, my man was a 360 no scoper in Marvel War for two, hitting trick shots, silent shot. I mean, he was he was out there in optic and it's prime, man. Die, he was 360 no scoping, son. My boy, and then with Shorty, on antenna girl, he means Emma. She's yo man. Well, ten minutes have already gone past. Not a single one of your comrades has come, Emma. But then you notice none of your comrades have either. What a sharp tongue. But the reason is obvious, isn't it? They're unlikely to still be in this world. And look at Emma. Emma immediately, look at, look at her eyes. A whistle blows right after their presence disappears. It happened twice already. The first time was for Lucy and the second for Bion, I suppose. Now I can't feel Noose or Noma anymore. Either the third whistle should soon through echo through the air. And there it is. My comrades, eh? Our association was really nothing more remotely of that sort. But I have to admit that now that it has come to this, I suppose I'll miss him a little bit. At least Bion. Man, dude, the conversation that him and Bion had back a couple of chapters ago, bro. Our acquaintance dates to a long, long time ago, and in many ways we saw eye to eye. We all used to go on hunts together quite often before the promise. Real hunts, I mean. Truth be told, I pitied him. And I never thought they'd get even you, Bion. Still, I'm sure he must have had a lot of satisfaction in the end. This was his deepest desire, after all. To enjoy himself in a real hunt. Yo, he... he it's like Lewis understood him so much. I mean, he uh, he truly did under, understand Bion, man. As, as a... As... as uh, I was about to say as a person, as a demon, man. Like, like as a fellow comrade, he really truly understood him, bro. A most admirable feat. Wasn't he just in front of her? This man popped up behind her. When did he? You rabbits are who brought down tigers. How oh, splendid. This man flashed up behind it. <laughs> Lewis! Precisely that is the real power of humankind. It is enough for me to completely forget that tinge of regret. I just wonder how many of you are left. Right now I see you and you alone. Will anyone else manage to arrive here? Maybe they're all dead and you're the last one. Your ten minutes are all but gone. Only three seconds left. Two, one. Oh, bro, my camera's on the battery, man.
F it. F it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read until the camera dies. If, if, if I read the end of the chapter when the camera's dead, I don't care. Come on. If we're just so long for the curtain to rise, come join me in the dance of death. Yo, man, that's an excellent cover page. The faded hour. It's been ten minutes now. Right, right now I see you and you alone. Will anyone else manage to arrive here? Or maybe you're the last one. Someone has already has come. But so far it's Nigel alone and Emma knows. Emma knows! And he set himself up on the post that was supposed to be for Oliver. The other positions are all empty. That means Oliver's squad isn't coming. Nor Sandy's. I heard the whistle, but that doesn't guarantee they're safe. I have to assume the worst case scenario and fight under it. Win under it. Yo, it's like under pressure. Emma still gotta compete. She'll still gotta perform. But how? Think, think you need strategies, even if it's hopeless. Come on, man. You, you gotta become freaking uh, uh, Emma Wengley. Emma, uh, you gotta become young Wengley's daughter right now, man. Emma Wengley, son. Do it anyway. Put an honor to this. Put an end to this horror, so that no one has to live through this, through that again. So that we can all survive together. Screw it. I'm unplugging it, man. And then we can go back to the shelter to my family to bring them to the treasure that Minerva left for us. Knowledge. The treasure that Minerva left. I can bring hope of a future for us so I cannot die here and I can't let anyone else die. For that I will. The terror of watching your ideals, your choices, kill your friends. I will. What's the matter, Emma? Is murder really the only way? Isn't there a way we can avoid fighting? What in the world are you talking about? I can't let it go that you kill for fun. However, I myself hunt too. I'm not sure about what's right or wrong, but I don't want anyone else to be killed. That's why I've decided to put an end to this playground. She's talking to him? About what? But it's not like I want to kill you. I'm surprised to hear this. The things you saw yesterday wasn't that enough. Yes, I hate you and I can't forgive you. But that doesn't change what I said. Bion, the boss of this place, is now gone. At this point, there's no reason to shed even more blood. If there's any way we can finish this without fighting... That I could get through this without losing any more friends. And you would hear you. <laughs> That's why Emma is the goon. That's why that's why I mess with Emma the Emma said, and you, and you would get an opportunity to live another day. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Uh, right when I was starting to question your resolve, I see you haven't lost your nerve. I'm relieved, really. I cannot afford to make wrong choices. It's the last person's chance to try till I'm trying. Would you agree to anything else other than fighting? No. Foolish question, Emma. What do you think I've waited so long for? I want to hunt and kill you, and should you and your kind manage to hunt and kill me, you only fulfill my heart's desire. The purity of your ideals is beautiful to behold, but the world is wide and not limited to that. There are many ways to think about values, about beauty, and so it is with us. Do not think we could ever reach mutual understanding. The only destiny for us is a fight to the death. And Emma pulls out her gun. That's it. That's how you do it. The ten minutes are all but gone. Only three seconds now. Two. One, shall we begin? Holy flag narts. This man, Lewis, has guns all over the place. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no, that's not Lewis. That's not Lewis, is it? Wait, 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 wait look at all those guns, bro. No, no, it is, that's Emma. That's Emma, you're setting it all up. She goes, Gee! And they're ready to strike. What's the meaning of this? Oh. Come on, man. I, bro, I hate when they switch over whenever it gets like that. So that's Emma that did that, right? I gotta finish the chapter before my camera dies. I was meaning, but I will be all right. Hang on. Oliver Gillian, even Zach, they were lucky enough to escape with their lives, but this is bad. We're in the world, Sandy Squad. Right, we need someone, someone strong to help. Our entire group was done for, too. Do you have the injured in critical condition? We have to bring them here ASAP. Got it, I'm going. Me too, if I can help, Sandy's group, too. Nigel, Emma. Is there, there's none of them left in the forest. It's all you, the place, and head to the village right now. I'm out and counting on you guys. I'm going to the village too. Can you take it from here? Yes, sir. Now it's just Lewis. And on, our, and, and on our side, Emma, Nigel, Pepe, without his right arm, and Violet, as I feared. Look, there's something you have to know. Adam, open it, please! Adam? Bro, Adam escaped? Did any of them? <laughs> this man, Lewis, caught all! Oh, baby, was playing no games. Bro, so Adam 
is gone. And now Lewis got all of those machine, light machine gun bullets, but not just machine, light machine gun. Are you sure just touching them would've been bad enough, but he actually got all those bullets by hand? So your first one was to find safety, huh? But how you approach next, Emma? It's myself and Nigel along without a squad. The conditions have changed, but Nigel still has his rifle. What will I do next? That's obvious. Move forward with the plan and smash Lewis's mask. I gotta get going, bro. You'll never land, bro. <laughs> Little Emma greatness, man. I'll see you all next time, dog. I'll be, I promise you, I'll be back sooner than I was last time, bro. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll probably be back tonight. I'll probably, I'll probably be back tonight, man. <laughs>